caught the ball. You know, Charles, I, I would have liked to have seen that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> for, for you. I, I wanted to see you reach out and catch that. Yeah, you've heard about my hands, huh? <laughs> Eli Rogers, the intended receiver. And that brings up fourth down. That was a classic example of trying to run with the ball without securing the catch. He was thinking about those rack yards instead of making the catch first and then taking off. Oh, it's a wobbler here. A special teams mistake there, no doubt. Just 26 yards officially on the punt. And possession will change here with very little time remaining until halftime. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And this is a spot late in the clock, near midfield, though. Maybe take a couple chances, see if you get in field goal range. You do that. And he's going to go down way back at the 42-yard line. Javon Hargrave forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. The final shot before half for Brady. On the crossing route, that's caught. Julian Edelman. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. And they'll be set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. The Steeler offense now with a football first here to begin the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They come up with one running back. That's Bell. To throw. And they get to him with a pressure as Roethlisberger goes down. Jabal Sheard in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. They'll come out in the pistol. Here's Roethlisberger trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Here comes the Patriots' offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. So after the INT, it's Brady to the left side and complete for Julian Edelman. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. And he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about but still a good first down run that's what an offense calls staying on schedule three to four yards on first down you're set up very well for the rest of the drive the throw left side complete to hogan that catch good for five it's third down third down and one Brady going to try and throw on third down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. Now the offense lining up first and 10. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Over the middle, that's caught by Hogan. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on it. Really well done. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. 
Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third of inches. Well, after what we just saw, we know that with third down coming up, this is not a gimme for the offense. They've got to figure out what they want to do. Do they challenge their offensive line and try and run it? Or do they go ahead? And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. LeGarrette Blunt, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots add six to their lead. And there you go, nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking, beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. They'll go to Blunt, try and pound it in. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. LeGarrett Blunt taking it in. And the Patriots add on to their lead. Well, Brandon, he just followed his nose, and his nose took him to the end zone. But how about the big guys up front giving him at least a stalemate in order to find that space? Yeah, the O-line won the battle in the trenches there, didn't it? Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. And a short kick, taking it about the 16. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Shift together here from the D-line. They'll go again with Bell, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that plan any down. So it'll be first down here after the run. They go play action here on first down. Out to his left. Now he's going to let it go. And Big Ben intercepted a third time. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And his guys are going to have the football back as the third quarter comes to an end. And tough starting field position here. They start on the ground here with Blunt. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. And over the middle to the tight end, Bennett. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Over the middle, the catch made by Mitchell. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. To the right side, it's caught by Mitchell. A gain of six there on first. And this time they go underneath for a simple pitch and catch. And not only do you get the pitch and catch, Brandon, but you're able to keep the receiver moving when you hit him with the drag route. Brady gives now to Blunt. And he's got Rome. Five yards is the pick up there as that extends this drive. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. They'll run again with Blunt. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. 
six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Throwing now is Brady. And he's going to find Hogan here, complete. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. They'll run it here with Blunt. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Third and one, partner. No need to be fancy there. Just use some force and move forward and pick up the first down. Brady going to look to throw, and the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going to go down. Bud Dupree in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. They've been moving the ball well offensively, really get it. Now the Steelers put a stop to the action with a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Now a carry for Blunt. A beautiful fake. Okay. Even just being nice, the last two plays were not very good offensively. So if you're the play caller, was it the team's execution or was it strategy? If it was execution, you continue to call the game the way you're calling it. But the strategy, change up what you're doing and figure it out. And he goes in motion here in the backfield. On third and long, it's Brady. And right side caught Hogan. And the Steelers signal for another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? <laughs> Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. They go back to now Ben hit, and he lost the football. It's loose. But it looked like the Steelers were able to recover, and they will indeed hold on to the ball. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. He's going to let it fly. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Logan Ryan. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. Only one timeout defensively, so this should just be a simple kneel down. I agree totally. I looked at my time management chart. It says, take a knee, victory formation. They just... Now hang on here. Timeout called. Timeout called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Blunt, the lone running back. Brady going to throw here. Backing up. He's going to wind up and air it out. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off William Gay. And that will write a finish to this ball game. So Charles are able to complete what so often seems to be elusive, a shutout in the NFL. And maybe what's fitting is they ended the game on the field, that defensive unit on the field. What an exclamation mark. And probably felt like they could go another 60 minutes without anyone putting points on the board against them. That's the confidence you gain throughout when you're pitching a shutout. And they're going to leave the stadium feeling like they're all 10 feet tall.